Good morning. Today is the 21st day of March in this 2024th year of our Lord. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are having a beautiful day today. Sunshine, blue skies, clear air. Uh, although we still have our pollen. Um, if you've never been down here in the spring at Myrtle Beach, you'll find that the uh, opening of the pine cones and the pine trees produce a pollen which covers everything in a beautiful yellow yellow green so that uh, daily you could wash your car if you were of the mind to do so uh, or just hose it off or just let it be for a few days my ritual is after the pollen is finished it's generally two to three weeks till it's all fallen uh, is to then wash all the windows and uh, hose things down and uh, be ready for uh, the next uh, beautiful event of nature. So uh, blessed be the day and your life in it. Uh, I hope it's a great weekend going forward uh, and uh, God's blessings. Today a reading from 2 Corinthians and it's in the, uh, the fifth chapter. <clears throat> from now on, therefore, we regard no one from a human point of view, even though we once knew Christ from a human point of view. We know him no longer in that way. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, in Christ Jesus, God was reconciling the world to himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and entrusting the message of reconciliation to us. So we are ambassadors for Christ. Since God is making his appeal through us, we entreat you on behalf of Christ be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. This is the word of the Lord. A life worth living. Andre Nouwen writes, a life that is not reflected upon isn't worth living. It belongs to the essence of being human, that we contemplate our life, think about it, discuss it, evaluate it, and form opinions about it. Half of living is reflecting on, on what is being lived. What makes life worth living? How do we evaluate the purpose and worth of our past, present, and future? It depends in part on whether we are living in the morning, noontime, or evening of our life. But it ultimately depends on where Christ is in our life. Is he at the center of our life, confined to the borders of our life, or barely noticeable at all? When we live in Christ, with Christ and for Christ, we are a new creation. We have a new sense of worth as a precious child of God. We have a new sense of purpose as ambassadors for Christ. And we have a new focus in our life as beacons of Christ's light and grace and truth in all of our daily life and daily relationships. And let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the blessings of this new day and the gift of springtime for the blossoming of beauty upon the earth, for the greening of the grasses and the wonderful nature that surrounds us, that you have gifted us with. Help us to preserve and be good caregivers and takers of that which you have bestowed upon us. And we thank you also for giving us a purpose, for giving us a meaning. And that purpose and meaning is defined not in who we are, but whom we have become in your person, Jesus Christ. We thank you for making us your ambassadors to proclaim the goodness of your mercy and love and forgiveness. 
You have made us new creatures when we have walked in the light of your love, when we have repented of our sin, when we have embraced your ways above our own. And we thank you for that opportunity each and every day. Help us to be the light that reflects your love to this world, to be the source of help that are the hands of reality that reach forth to bring life to a better day and a better way, and thus reveal you to the world. Grace this world with your help as it is needed in Gaza, in the Ukraine, and other places of trouble, in the midst of human lives that are in peril, or those lives that are distraught with the burdens of this world and this life and these days. Might they find your help and your hope and find that new life in you and your son Jesus and care for those for whom we would intercede this day and seek your healing presence and your loving care for Tom and Nikki and for Miriam and Elaine and Donna and Nancy for Judy and Evelyn Ragg and Evelyn Tompkins for Magnolia for Mark and Katie, Jenny, Linda, Barry, Gail, and Charlotte, and each and every one we lift up before you in these moments of silence. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, who taught us that we might pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever amen the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord this day and forevermore.